Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Streets of Rage 4 Limited Edition from Limited Run Games. And this is the Nintendo Switch version of the of the collection. Um, this is the game that I was waiting for for a long time. Huge fan of the Streets of Rage series. And this kind of snuck up on me as far as the release date. And I ended up purchasing it day one on the PS4. Went ahead and got a platinum trophy in that game. Love it, love it, love it so much. Um, I, It's possible this may be my favorite game in, in the series now. It is that good. I uh, love the combo system, love the music, love the character design, love everything about it. So let's go ahead and um, get into the actual um, limited edition itself. And this is just uh, outside of the box. You can see the front. This is like a slip cover um, for the most part we're looking at now. Um, here's the top of the box. You just got the Streets of Four, or sorry, Streets of Rage Four logo. Um, on the side, you got um, Axel, just a nice little black and white of Axel and uh, logo for the game. Uh, and here is on the other side, uh, identical. Is the both sides look the same? And then we'll go ahead and just take a look at the back. And this is actually, it's got that number 65. This is the 65th um, release from Limited Run Games on the Nintendo Switch. And we'll take the slip cover off and we'll just take a look at the actual box itself. But this is a heavy, heavy, heavy box. I mean, I was like, when I was carrying this box um, up the stairs, I was like, wow, this thing is, this thing is huge. Huge. I mean, like just the, the weight of it. I mean, not the size of it isn't that isn't that big, but the weight of it. I mean, I was like, what is in this thing? And there's quite a lot, um, as we'll see. But yeah, just uh, here's the actual just box itself. The side art is kind of similar to that black and white of Axel, um, but really nice, really sharp looking box uh, in my opinion. And it's kind of got like uh, this little lip on the top, similar to like I feel like a lot of the. PlayStation Collector's Editions um, have had these, this little like kind of lip on the top that you open up. Let's see if I can get it open here. It's on there tight. All right, here we go. And let's take a look at some of the contents. We'll just uh, take them out. We're going to go through everything. I'm going to open everything up and we'll go through flip through the art book and the manual and all that stuff every page of it so you can check out and see everything we're gonna get a pretty good look at everything here but that's the actual game itself the uh, clamshell case as well the soundtrack the poster um, and then uh, there's also it's gonna be awesome obviously obviously the big sell of this was the statue was why I ended up upgrading I think after I started playing the game um, and also, I think they, they marketed it like they were going to have the only physical edition. And then Signature Edition Games came out with the one. And I actually liked their cover art a lot better than uh, Classic Edition. So I ended up, a lot of people got really upset with Limited Run Games. And they allowed me to just actually upgrade for free, which was, which was pretty cool. And I'm glad that I did, because this is a fantastic Limited Edition. And you got a hard covered art book uh, as well. And here is the actual statue. If I can get this sucker out of here, wedged in there pretty good. And a little little uh, turkey for your um, health health power up that, uh, that you played in the game. So that's I mean it's it's a cool little little addition. I don't I mean I'm not really big on that, but I guess it was it was cool that they added that and. Here is the statue itself, and yeah, really gorgeous, uh, gorgeous art design. I mean, it's it really looks very similar. They did a good job of just um, making it look like the characters in the game, and that's one thing I just really love the character design that they did in this this uh, new new version of Streets of Rage. Um, and we'll just put it on the table and let it spin around. But yeah, I mean, Axel looks really cool blaze is is just hot as always <laughs> and uh yeah just really really love this statue and it's got some really good weight to it as well that's kind of like what i was saying when i picked up the box and i was like wow this thing is this box is heavy there's something number one there's a lot of content in the box one of the things you can see right here as i'm kind of pointing to there is a little bit of like just 
um, paint smear. It looks like there's just, I don't know how that happened, but there's some kind of little like black paint that looks like it kind of got scratched on there. I don't know if paint got scratched off or if it got scarred up on something as far as when they were packaging it. And here is just the underside of the statue itself. Streets of Rage 4, um, Axel and Blaze. And it sits just under 8 inches um, from bottom to top. And for comparison, I'll just kind of set down a um, artifacts, uh, Kotobukiya, one-tenth scale statue, and I kind of just see what it looks like in comparison. And here is your little um, collector's uh, card that you get with all your, um, obviously, um, limited run games. So, that's, see, that's like the, that art style, I don't, I don't like that card that much, um, to be honest with you, just because I don't like that. That's similar to what the actual design is on the front um, of the classic edition that I which I'm not too hot about this is a I think this was like a freebie that they gave everyone for for um, some issues that they have but this is a Streets of Rage for limited run games exclusive soundtrack selection so it doesn't have all the tracks on there um, it just has 18 track tracks which I guess is just their favorite or top tracks that they think and I think that they sent this out with a classic edition as well with the classic edition did not get a soundtrack um, here's just a little squishy little uh, turkey, um, like I was saying before. But I think they didn't give this... Um, the, I forgot what, what the reason was, if it was late, or if it was just because they were apologizing to people for saying that it was going to be limited, that they were going to have the only physical, and that they weren't. So they gave, I think, everyone who purchased the game, I think, got that little um, limited run games exclusive um, track selection. Uh, here is the um, Sega... Genesis clamshell kind of just looks like see that I like that artwork I wish that is the artwork goes on the actual cartridge and or uh, the game case itself um, and I think that's similar to the one that was actually on signature um, edition games which is why I was kind of I was actually going to switch over but I'd already started playing the game at that point in time and I was like man I'd really like that I like the art design I really want that statue so let me see if I can upgrade and they like I said they actually let me upgrade which was cool but um, inside of here, all you have is this little, um, little. It, I mean, this thing. This is another thing. This thing has some weight to it. This, it's, it's really. You won't believe how heavy this thing is until you actually pick it up. But it's. This is another thing to where it's actually. It's you know it's it's made out of metal, but it's scratched up. Which I just, like. I don't know how. I don't know how this thing got scratched up. I guess when they made these things and started packaging things to send them out, they got scratched up, and that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's not, not a deal breaker, but it just just kind of sucks that that you get something brand new and it's already scratched up. So like, I that's something must have happened as far as just like their packaging of their um, of their limited edition sets. And they, I guess it's possible. Yeah, actually, I don't think those cards came on the Classic Edition. So this right here is actually, I think, what was the Classic Edition, if I'm not mistaken. So if you got the Classic Edition, uh, this should have been, I think, all that you got. But I could could be wrong. But it kind of just has like a, a slip cover over like a large, um, larger clamshell. So it's not like the, it's not a replica size uh, Genesis clamshell like the one that I just showed you previously, but um, it's going to end up being like, I see here's kind of like a comparison. So the one on the left was the replica one. The one on the right is going to be your um, classic edition. Um, and like I said, this is just a slip cover and we'll take this thing off. And here it is. Uh, so it's just a larger version. And now this artwork, like I said, this artwork is the one that I just really did not like. Uh, not, not big on that. It's just I really like the more colorful one that is on that actual Genesis one. But it is pretty cool that they actually. I was kind of curious how they're going to do this, but they actually made it to where the steel book and the actual case itself both fit in this clamshell. So that is, it's pretty cool how they did that. And I think at first I was thinking it was going to be original size, and I was like, how are they going to fit both of those in an actual Genesis cartridge? Uh, but they can't. <laughs> so that's the answer to that. Uh, but the Steelbook, see the Steelbook, I love the artwork on this. Gorgeous, gorgeous Steelbook, really love it. Um, here's the inside, inside artwork on that. Um, and here's the, the back and then the front cover of that. So gorgeous, gorgeous Steelbook, big 
big bonus to be getting that. And I think that, yeah, I think that comes with the classic edition, which was a big part of why I wanted that to begin with. Um, and here is the just game case itself, which I guess if you just got the, the physical copy from them, you would have gotten this, which like I said, is again, it's unfortunate because that um, cover art is pretty crappy in my opinion. I think you can actually get it from, I think you can just get it from Walmart or from Amazon that has that other cover art that I really prefer. But it is what it is. And here is the inside and you get your little manual and your cartridge and you get, uh, I think you get um, this, this is like the bare knuckle, was it bare knuckle fork, that's what they call it. Uh, and Japan, it's not called Streets of Rage, it's called what, bare knuckle. So bare knuckle four, kind of like reverse um, cover art if you'd like, which I don't really care for that too much. I'll just stick with the one, one that they gave me. And we'll put this back in and we'll take a look at the manual. And manual, uh, once again, has that, <laughs> that same design. I just don't, I don't know why they, I don't know why they went with that design. It's just, it's, it's it really sucks as far as that, that cover art. But you get 30, I think close to 29 or 30 pages in this manual. And you get your, uh, your table of contents and you got your, just your, your button moves and then your, your kind of like little player, uh, moves and bios and then just all the just different characters and enemies so it's actually really really nice uh manual like like the manual a lot like i said 30 it's 29 or 30 pages so solid manual really nice artwork inside big fan of it All right, now we're gonna move on to the actual soundtrack itself. Um, this is the soundtrack, the full soundtrack, not the not the exclusive limited run games exclusive track selection. Is actually the official soundtrack is actually two discs, and you have a total of 35 um, different tracks. And obviously, uh, Yuzo Kashiro um, did a lot of these tracks. He didn't do all of them, but he did a good amount of them. So, and here's just a look at the inside. You got, like I said, you got your your uh, two different discs and a little bit of an inside cover art. Very nice uh, soundtrack. And like I, I, the it grew on me. It definitely grew on me. So at first I was not a fan of it, but it grew on me. And I, I love the new soundtrack. Um, and here is uh, just the poster that you get. We're doing a little overview of the poster itself. Um, this is not a double-sided poster, it's just one one side. So, a pretty pretty good size. I think it's, I believe it's 17 by 24, but I could be I could be wrong about that. Don't, do not quote me on that poster side. I think that's just like the standard side, size of a poster. And here's your hardcover um, art book. And really, there's some really nice, um, I think this is around 100 pages, I believe is what it is. And just really nice character bios and artwork and just design and um, it's it's a fantastic art book. This is literally one of just from top to bottom. This is one of the nicest collector's editions I think that I've gotten. Um, so glad that I got this and picked it up. Um, it's it, it's really fantastic. If you did not order this and you're a fan of the game, I would. Uh, I'm sure it's probably really expensive on the on the aftermarket, but I would definitely consider grabbing it if you if you can, because I I think it's it it's 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 worth it. I mean, if you can get it for around 200 or under, I think it still sold um, initially for around like 160 or 170 something somewhere in that some that price range. If you can get this for under 200 or even under 250, I think I would grab it even in the aftermarket. It is that good. Like I said, it's probably. It's up there as one of the best collector's editions I've ever gotten. Um, but I'm just going to do a full flip through of the, of the, of the art book. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Later.